Hi everyone. We have a new service in Patrick that I wanted to tell you about. It is the metagenomic read mapping. So click on services and then go down under metagenomics and let's click on metagenomic read mapping. What this tool is going to allow you to do is take your read files and we blast those read files against either the comprehensive antibiotic resistance database, the genes from that, or from the virulence factor database. So let's look, let's do a couple of those. So I'm going to go in and click on my files. My, it's looking for read files. It doesn't work with contigs, just with read files. And so, you know, so we have a metagenomic binning service that's trying to create a good genome out of metagenomic reads. This is doing something a little bit differently because you may have antibiotic resistance genes or important virulence factors, but the assemblers can't get a good genome out of it. So you wouldn't even know it was there. So this is taking an entire metagenome sample and trying to tell you what genes you should be interested in. So I brought up my two sequences. I bring them over into the selected library here and you can add as many as you want. You don't have to just do one read pair. Um, you can also do single reads or you can do an accession number from SRA. And let's first look at card and I'm gonna put this in, I'll just put it in my test folder. And I know that this is a particular sample um, that I've been working with. So I submit that. And then once I submit the job, it'll take a couple seconds, but then we'll be able to see down at on the jobs page that that job is running. So we can monitor how the job is doing by clicking on jobs down here, and that'll open it up and I can see that that one's running. But I've run this a little bit earlier, so let's look and see what the results look like. So when you wanna see the results for something, I can click on it and once I click on it, the vertical green bar shows me how I can see that data. So I can go in and click view and it's gonna show me the data that comes with that job. That particular job, most of the time was spent waiting in the queue. Once it started running, um, it only took 16 seconds to run. So we have a really nice HTML report that reports this data, so I click on it. And notice when you click on it there, the vertical green bar populates, um, is populated with different icons that you can do to with that data. What we want to do now is view it. So let's click on the viewer and I like this um, a lot. It shows you the gene that it was hitting in the card database. So that's the card identifier. I know that's one of the problems with um, a lot of our analyses as biologists says each different resource has a different identifier. So we're trying to tie it all together here. So that's the identifier for card. That's the function of the gene. This is the genome that it came from, which is Listeria monocytogenes. The score expected and a bunch of different, um, how much of the template the FOS X gene was covered, how much of the query was covered and the depth and the Q value and the P value. So you can see that this is a pretty good way of being able to assess very quickly, very rapidly, if you have any antibiotic resistance genes, if you use CARD or virulence factors, if you use BFDB, that you would be interested in looking at and studying further in your um, metagenomic analysis. And down below the table, it describes what each of those columns are. 
We also have um, tutorials if you're interested in digging in further and finding out more about any of the functions in Patrick. Thank you.